sorry guys, I kind of forgot I was on live. You guys need to see this. Okay, they got him. I could have seen that. One out of 24. Show me out on the traffic stop. Going to be eastbound US Route 68. What's going on guys, Officer Israel coming at you with a simple and easy tutorial uh, about LSPDFR. First and foremost guys, I'm sorry about my voice, I don't know if it's my headphones or what, but I know I sound like a robot, uh, so forgive me in advance. But today, um, I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your LSPDFR. The reason why is because, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, Grand Theft Auto has been updated which is making everything else to be updated so with that being said LSPDFR has been updated and I know for myself I had uh, after I downgraded LS after I downgraded Grand Theft Auto I installed the newer version of LSPDFR but I was not supposed to do that and if you're downgrading your Grand Theft Auto 5 then and you turn around and down and you turn around and um use the newer version of LSPDFR, then LSPDFR will not work. So I'm gonna show you how to downgrade your LSPDFR. And if you want to know how to downgrade and revert your Grand Theft Auto, I will leave a, a link in the description below as to how to do that as well. So if you guys have a a, a old setup LSPDFR file, whether it's automatic or manual go ahead and search your downloads folder and um re-download lspdfr now if you don't have an old lspdfr uh setup file then i'm sorry this is not going to work for you but if you can search your downloads folder wherever you have your downloads set to and you can find an old lspdfr 4.7 with the old rage hook then this tutorial will work for you so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and click uh lspd the lspdfr setup mine it, i use the automatic because it's quick and much easier for me so we're going to go ahead and install lspdfr like you normally would and again i'm sorry about my voice guys it's not my actual voice it's the headphones or something or something is going wrong with my OBS so we're going to click next show license we're going to give that some time to count down and we're going to click accept and we're going to last but not least we're going to click do it for me now it says LSPDFR has been ins installed successfully. Now, before I go any further, I would like to click the rage hook. Now, you don't have to do this, but I, you well, you can do this just to ensure that all your plugins will be uh, loaded, loaded successfully. Click rage hook and then hold shift for about a few seconds, and then it should pop up like so. And what you want to do, you want to change your plug-in plug timeout threshold to about 600,000. I think that's 600, yeah, 600,000. If I can get it. So just easily change that 1 from a 1 to a 6. And that will in turn give your plug-ins time to load. Now I'm going to click save and lunch, but I'm not going to lunch it just yet because I launched my LSPDFR differently, so we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that. So now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna click, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click the GTA 5 shortcut. Now I've already downgraded and reverted my GTA 5. Again, a link will be in the description as to how, how you could do it. Now, once you once you downgrade it, mine is on Steam. So Steam users, once you downgrade it, you're gonna get a message like this. Give it a few seconds, and then it's gonna tell you this right here. Now what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and click OK. 
So basically, it's telling you that it knows that you have made changes because you downgraded it. So what you, once what you want to do, you want to click OK. And then once you want, then once you click OK, now you, you're going to see that the launcher says that you're offline. That's OK because that's what we have to do to get everything working again until further notice. Now I load my LSPDFR diff differently from you guys because I use NVE. But uh, once everything is on, all you got, all you ha guys have to do if you don't have NVE is just click the ready to plug in. So I'm waiting till my NVE starts to load in the game, and once it loads in the game, once it begins to load, I click ready to right away. Now again, I'm showing you guys how to downgrade your LSPDFR so that you can be able to play LSPDFR until further notice all right now i don't know when um strip took v will be updated but it should be pretty soon just give it a minute guys um my lspdfr takes a minute to load because of nve but again this is to show you how to downgrade your uh lspdfr but this is only for those people who have uh, who has previously previously had a download copy of LSPDFR before they updated it for the Grand Theft Auto 5 update. But if you don't have an old copy of the LSPDFR automatic install or manual install, I'm sorry. Um, maybe there's other methods out there, but this is the only method that works for me because I already had the old one of the old LSPDFR setup installs already in my downloads folder and hopefully this works for you guys that already have one of these in your downloads folder and if it did be sure to let me know in the comment section by liking sharing commenting and uh, subscribing okay as you guys can see everything is loading up good all my plugins are loading up like they should Let me click um, the mouse again. Um, it my my game does that because of NVE, e, NVE I think so that's why it paused. So you guys don't have to worry; it's not going to pause for you. So as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it says loading LSPDFR. And here we are in game, guys. I'm going to just show you guys a few things to show you guys that it worked. Okay, let, let me get in my EUP menu. Okay, as you can see, my EU, EUP, excuse me, my EUP menu is working. Uh, one out of 24 dispatch. I don't, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go into the, uh, well, I don't have to, but I'm gonna go inside the, uh, the, uh, police department just to, I just realized that my, um, I have to go on duty. So it is working, I just have to go on duty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly go on duty real quick. Damn! So right. I'm gonna go into the police station just to show you guys that it is working. I'm gonna click go on duty. And as you guys can see, everything is loading. Give it a minute here. So as you guys can see in the bottom right, bottom left hand corner and the upper left hand corner LSPDFR is active we're gonna go into the uh, police garage this is just to show you guys a few more things
As you guys can hear, my vocal dispatch or grammar police is working. One out of 24, show me 1041. Proceed with patrol. So as you guys can see, all the mods are working. And there you go, guys. If you guys have any questions or concerns, uh, this worked for me. Uh, if it worked for you guys, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And um, I'm on the road to 200 subscribers, guys. So if this video helped you out, Make sure you leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe, and um, be looking out for my LSPDF5 videos, okay? Uh, oh yeah, and also hit that notification bell so that you may be notified the next time your boy is live. As I always say, guys, stay positive, stay productive, but most importantly, guys, stay away from negativity. Until next time, guys, I will see you soon.